front toenail actually got messed up yesterday. It was bleeding a little bit. Got a little bit of blacky blood on me. <laughs> YouTube and welcome to another crib zone excursion. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more. This will be the story of the rejected Chihuahua. Welcome to another crib zone excursion. Go ahead. We got the most dominant Chihuahua in the world with us. Already marked his territory. You got to stay on your side, dog. But I want to piss. But I want to piss. Okay, go ahead. He pisses on himself. KZE, KZE, can you please spoil me? That's what half my comment section says. He's licking piss. Come on. Hey. Come on, Blackie. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, don't you dare. Look at him. Put your little toe down. Let me tell you guys something. When I visit Mexico, I do not save these girls. The only thing I save, I save the dog. Boom, I spoiled the homie Blackie. Good boy. <laughs> no. Every stop he wants to piss. It's true. The beluga whale told me. Come on. No, no. Let's go this way. Let's go this way. No, Blackie. <gasps> Look at him. Look at those little runs. We actually had all this gear sent in by Tough Hound. He sees dogs. I know you guys have seen the episode where Blackie entered my backyard. His tail was breaking off. He was pissing everywhere. He is now properly geared. Tough Hound hit me up. They said, we'd like to send you some products. KZE at this point is absolutely grateful. There is nothing in this world that we would ever desire. So of course, the best thing for me to do is to give this stuff away. Who other better than Blackie? Here we have their dog collar padded all throughout. Pretty nice padding. All this gear is reflective which is a nice little feature to keep your dog nice and safe. Blackie's owner did mention this dog usually never has collars due to the fact that he receives severe rashes with the collars. This padded dog collar should be a very nice addition to him. All he needs now is a dog collar ID. So if he ever was to get lost, they're able to find him. The next piece of gear is this dog leash. They do have different sizes for all this equipment. All this gear is size small. This is what I was extremely surprised by this dog harness. This is also a small and this is in the gray color. This thing is nice and padded. This makes Blackie feel super secure. Since this dog's an outdoor dog, he's actually tied up. This is also a no pull harness. Now all that is, it also has a hook in the front. Kind of prevents dogs from pulling. Let's go ahead and take this harness off and show you guys. It's nice and padded all throughout the chest and the back area. This is the no pull buckle I was mentioning. Blackie's never really been a collared dog. Blackie's never been a type of dog to severely be walked. This dog never wears a collar. He has no idea how to walk on a collar. Blackie, Blackie. <laughs> Calm down. Stop making me dizzy, Blackie. Sit, hey, sit. Nope, that's why he's the most dominant chihuahua in the damn world. You can see he wants to lead everywhere. Every time your dog wants to be ahead of you and wants to lead, all you have to do is swerve around them. Like so. Come on. Good boy. Good boy, Blackie. As soon as I let him anywhere near a grass or any type of pole, he's gonna piss on it. That's a fact. I'm gonna go ahead and test out my theory. Here we go. His tail bouged up. He always pisses on himself, dude. Every piss, you always piss on yourself, dog. These type of harnesses are known as over the head harness. Oh my gosh, he's a little bit fat. They're right, perfect. It's nice and tight on him. He is looking nice. <laughs> Good boy. Come on, come on. Oh, we have a 
little hot mama seat over here on the left. Give hot babe some room, bro. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his tail. It's, uh, it's like a little probe. Oh, oh, he's squaring up. That dog's feeling extremely intimidated by Blackie. I sense it. Oh boy! Mr. Peanut collapsible dog bowls. Here, Blackie, drink some. It's water. It's like he doesn't consume water, yet he pisses out more than he has inside of him. Probably just doesn't want to taste crypto. Yeah, I think he's reached the point where he wants to piss everywhere. I know you guys do love Blackie. I personally think Blackie's one of the cutest dogs. I'm not sure if it's his color scheme or something. I just think he's extremely adorable. I think this dog's face revealed me through his eyes a couple times. He's a little bit tired. I think I'm gonna hold on to him. I thought it was bad that Crypto didn't like old people. This dog doesn't like little kids. All right, let's take his ass back home. I feel his little heartbeat pumping at quite some speed, so I know he got a nice exercise in. Thank you so much, Huffhound, for sending this in. That one's donkey kicking right in front of Blackie, and he's getting pissed. If you guys would like to check out these three products, I'll be sure to throw the link down in the description. Not only are these products padded, but they are also a nice reflectix. Blackie is a mutt. They actually don't know who his dad is, but his mom was an applehead chihuahua like the rat. He is a little bit smaller than Milo. Milo's a pretty hefty dog. But other than that, he has normal chihuahua behavior. He's extremely sweet with people he knows, but there's only one reason why this dog holds that title of the most dominant chihuahua in the world. And that is simply for his dominance. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Peace. Feel free to follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat at KZE underscore production.